Hi everyone, it's Deb here and welcome to my first video using the uh, March kits, Kitaholic kits I should say. Uh, we got this die cut um, frame from Closer Craft in our kits and I could have used it as is but I thought I'll, um, I'd like to do something different with it. Now you can see my pencil markings here. I am actually going to cut this up so I'm going to have one photo mat kind of going on the diagonal I'm still going to use the other pieces um, they're just going to be tucked under and that diagonal piece will be popped up on some fun foam so I'm just carefully trying to cut it out and follow those lines um, trying to keep the curve on the uh, circles that are there uh, there was one that I didn't quite succeed, but it's, you can't really tell. So, um, yeah, so just cutting that out. And then I did print my photos. I used, um, I created myself a mask in Photoshop Elements. And um, I was able to mask my photos in a circular uh, uh, in a circle, sorry. Um, and print them out so I could get the right uh, right size oh my goodness I'm so lost for words right size for my two photos so just backing um, the photos underneath it's really easy all you have to do is just put a bit of glue on the back side of the die cut and then I am going to go ahead and back the other ones with pattern paper now I went for a like the yellow, pink and coral um, scheme and after creating my all my um, design team layouts and things with this kit I am surprised how many colour combos I actually got out of this kit it was really cool so um, yeah so I'm just going to back all the circles and I'm going to back I don't back them all actually I leave a couple open and I do bring the printables in and use them as well um, and then I will back the other pieces that will be um, underneath this piece I'm just putting the uh, uh, fun foam underneath and I'm sorry um, the Sun was setting there was nothing I could do with the lighting here the um, the way the Sun sets and the window is where I um, work um, the foam I got from the reject shop and it uh, is sticky on one side so you only have to glue one side of the um, fun foam um, the ones I get the fun foam I get from spotlight has no um, sticky at all on it and you have to glue both so it just makes it a little bit easier so I'm just tucking those two bits that I cut off and backed underneath my main um, photo mat there and just sticking them down you can see that um, I haven't backed every single circle and it doesn't matter that it was a bit messy and jagged along that um, line that gets tucked under no one's going to see that and you can see I've even got only one one circle was only half backed 
on that one because only a little bit was going to be peeking out. So I'm just going to glue all this down and then start embellishing and you can see my <laughs> table is a huge mess. It's always like this when I first get a kit because I want to use all the things. Um, we got this uh, pack of die cut flowers and uh, if I can remember correctly I'm pretty sure they were from Pink, Pink Fresh Studio and I got so much use out of these flowers like I cut them up and used um, certain colours on um, different layouts and yeah I stretched them really far so and I'm also going to use oh I'm just figuring out a title here I was going to go with shine but I didn't like that um, the word was it just looked too small on the on the um, layout so I went with sparkle and I will complete that title with some tiny alphas a bit later on uh, oh, that's what I was saying before too. I, I brought in some of the resin flowers that we got in the kit and I had two kind of cream, no, one cream and one yellowy kind of cream one and I really wanted, because I put them in, um, had the resin flowers in three different clusters and the bottom left cluster didn't have that cream or yellow flower with it so I did go digging in my stash and found one. Um, it was from a previous Kitaholic um, kit. Tried some wood veneer here. Didn't like the way that looked. So just still fussing around. I did want to bring that butterfly on but I thought it was just too much pink in the end so that does not make it on there. Now uh, these tiny alphas, uh, there you go from January 18, uh, we got in a previous kit. Um, and I love that it they were um, circular alphas. I um, always have trouble using the circular ones, but it really suited this layout with all the circles on it. So um, there wasn't quite enough letters there to do my title, so I had to do some backwards threes for the um, the E's, and I think I used a couple of the I's and made them into T's. Um, just putting some fun foam under my title here because that middle part is popped up and um, to make the title set flush there I had to put a little bit of fun foam underneath the bottom of that S. I'm just tucking all the flowers that I cut um, underneath my large die cut piece. Just the yellows and the pinks and here I go searching for that cream resin flower and I found one. And this is just all acrylic I got from Kitaholic Kits. Um, I've got this, um, I, I don't know what it's called. It's um, the, the really big um, photo storage bin thing that you can get from Spotlight where it's got like 20, no, it doesn't have that many, <laughs> maybe 12. I don't know, my goodness. Where is that thing? Oh, it's here. Hang on, there's going to be a bit of noise. It is called... Oh, it's heavy. It is called the Craft and Storage Container with 16 coloured storage cases. And I have got all my embellishments in it from past Kitaholic kits. So all my acrylic in one, all my sequins in one. Um, what else have I got? Um, trims. I've, I've just got, yeah, it's just full of... Um, all embellishments from past kits and I've never had to dig into my stash that's the first thing I go to so while I've been yabbering on I've been sticking things down and I'm gonna add um, some more I did put the dots on but I didn't like that I end up I think I put three stars in each cluster just to bring a bit more of that iridescent to the page and I don't know the photo that I took of this layout didn't turn out the way that I liked it. It that iridescent um, title just played with the camera setting and didn't want to photograph like um, straight down. Um, the side on pictures turned out all right. Uh, doing a little bit of journaling here, and I'm using a silver Kaiser Craft um, gel pen, and I love these pens. Um, they write so nicely. Um, so yeah, and just underlining that. You can't really see it on camera, but you can see it in real life. So 
was um and ahhing whether I was going to add a, a few splatters to this page but decided to keep it nice and clean and yeah I really love how it turned out so I'm going to show oh I add sequins too the little iridescent white ones that when you turn on the side they kind of got that pink tinge to them so I add them to the page and I think that's it yeah I'm pretty sure that's it um, I slow down the footage and show you the layout and then I have some stalls for you at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you enjoy your kits and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.